based in Singapore, where the company's Asia Pacific headquarter is located. The Asia Pacific region has proved to be the new center of wealth. It was a great move on the company's part to expand to this part of the world. Can you tell us how important this strategy was and how important the APEC is for TEN? I mean, it's hugely important. I mean, I think, again, we always knew we wanted to be a global business. I don't think anyone could have predicted particularly the generation of new wealth in markets like China back in the early 2000s when we were you know, really looking for our first international expansion. But I think the fact that we that we did what we did and the fact that we have the footprint in Asia that we that we do have, I think is has played out very well for us. I think concierge, the world of concierge, premium concierge that we operate in is still very underdeveloped across all markets in Asia. I think Japan's probably the one exception where wealthy Japanese members have experienced services like ours and, and are very comfortable with outsourcing and have obviously been you know, some of the biggest consumers of, of luxury brands for many, many years. But the opportunity in Asia is huge and obviously the opportunity in China is vast. We're beginning to see that the private banks, the premium credit cards, the luxury brands in mainland China are, are beginning to understand the value that a service like ours can bring to their most valuable customers. And so we, we, we see that, that China is going to be huge. It was very challenging for us to launch in China when we did in, in 2012, as you can imagine. We actually launched American Express Centurion and Platinum for American Express at the time. That was our kind of yeah. launch client. And uh, it was very challenging for us to, to be taken seriously by the China market and get through all the regulations being a Western business. But now, we, now we've done that and we've got a fantastic team in China, but also we've got a strong business in Hong Kong, Singapore. Um, Japan is actually our biggest market today in, in Asia, but we launched into Australia physically about five years ago and we've just won some significant business there with, with one of the big banks, with the private bank there. And so I think it, Asia has got a, a quite a way to go to pick up the, the level of engagement that we see in other markets, but it's a strategically, it's incredibly important for us. Mm-hmm.